Hey everyone, this is Ryan Rungi with AECT again. A lot of you have seen this kind of test before, but we're going to do it again. Actually, we're going to shoot it with the biggest gun we've ever shot it with, but the whole point of this is I've built a few little walls here and we're going to show how bulletproof these earth blocks are. We're, this is a 14 inch thick wall, cement stabilized, 8% cement stabilized. This is a, a 14 inch thick unstabilized wall. Um, no, no cement, just 100% dirt. 100% dirt uh, blocks and 100% earth and mortar joining the blocks. In fact, all that dirt mound behind it is what we made the blocks out of. It's what we made the earth and mortar out of. It's just mud. It's just dirt blocks joined together with mud. Then we're going to move on to this wall, which is looks a little precarious, but the left side is actually eight inch thick cement stabilized, 8% cement stabilized. The right side is seven inch thick only and it's unstabilized. That'll be the thinnest wall uh, that we've ever shot. And so that's another, that's another kind of different thing about this test is I, I just want to see can a seven inch thick wall stop a bullet. And uh, we're going to do all this from about 40 feet distance. But we're going to do a pretty big rifle at the end, a, a seven millimeter. Yeah, stick with us and let's, let's get to the test. All right, to get things started, we're going to use a Glock 40, 40 caliber pistol. That's what the bullet looks like. Um, from 40 feet away on this 14 inch thick uh, earth block wall. This is an 8% cement stabilized earth block wall. We don't expect to see much difference between the unstabilized and stabilized blocks. A lot of people think the cement makes the blocks stronger. The, the blocks are strong because they're made out of dirt and they're compressed at about 2000 PSI. And whether it's 100% dirt or 92% dirt, that's the case. And that's what's stopping the bullet. The cement actually just makes the blocks waterproof, to be honest. So I go ahead and um, Start by shooting it, shooting this pistol at the wall, and then we'll Got we'll me. move up from there. So there's where it hit. What's that? You see it? Right there. So with the Glock 40 from 40 feet away, it went in an inch, inch and a half. That's that's probably about what we expected. This is a 30-30. This is like a standard uh, white-tailed deer rifle. The flat tip bullet. Uh, okay. There's a fair amount of powder in there. That's that's the size bullet we're gonna shoot now. So it's ought to do a little more damage, but we'll see. That did a little more damage, but you know, didn't go through. Obviously, went into two out of the 14 inches. Let me see. Look and see nothing yeah, you can in see here. Nothing so. blown out here. No. No damage on the other side. Okay. Okay, so let's let's up the ante. All right, we're up in the ante here. This will be the biggest gun I've shot at at Earth Block Wall, though some of our customers have shot at it with a 50 cal from various distances, and it basically doesn't go through the wall. I've never done that myself. This is a seven millimeter Magnum. This is really for uh, hunting elk, and you can you can kill like an 800 pound elk from 400 yards away with this gun. So that that's the size of the of the bullet i mean big old bullet so well this will be a good test for the blocks i guess it went in about three inches yeah three inches on the seven millimeter magnum not bad okay, now same three guns uh same distance 40 feet this is a glock 40. the only this is also a 14 inch thick wall but it's unstabilized. No cement, just 100% dirt blocks. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this confirms what I was saying. Same size earth block, same distance, same gun. It went in the same distance, inch and a half, which is what it did for the 8% cement stabilized block. So again, just to confirm that the cement doesn't really make the block stronger, it actually just makes it waterproof. 8% cement makes it 100% waterproof and that's why we put it in there. Our garage is 8% cement. If you look over here, this is what the blocks look like when you put them in nice and seal them up. That's really the same blocks in that wall that we're shooting at, believe it or not. Same recipe, same 8% cement, same dirt. And that's what it looks like when it's finished. <laughs> looks like two inches which yeah it's about the same as the other same as the other again and we can just yeah let's confirm yeah. nothing in the nothing, back nothing came out the back all right now we're gonna do the seven millimeter magnum okay well 
Went in about four inches, but slipped off the block into the mortar joint. Okay, final wall. Now this one's kind of interesting because uh, the left side is eight inch cement stabilized. The, the right is seven inch thick unstabilized. For no other reason than that's the blocks I had laying around. These are just trash blocks that I just been sitting around for three years. And uh, definitely the thinnest, the narrowest wall I've ever shot. You would basically never build a wall this narrow. I mean, 10 inches is the code for exterior walls. So you would never have thinner walls than 10 inch anyway. But just to test it, we just wanna see how can this seven inch hold up. So I'm gonna do two shots. This is with the uh, 40, with the, the Glock 40. Glock 40. All right, two shots. Yeah, quarter inch for this for this eight inch thick block. And I only laid these blocks an hour ago. That this is wet. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is just mud. And uh, I think the other one, same right thing. Right there, yeah. Yeah, no. It held up good. It held up good. Let, go around and see. Let's just double check that it didn't, nothing went through. If it's going to go through, it's going to go through the mortar, that wet mortar. Yeah, no. But... It didn't, so cool. Yeah, yeah pretty good. I, I'm surprised. Thin wall, thirty thirty rifle. Actually, there's the bullet. Yeah, there's the man. It held up good. Yeah, you know, and funny enough, I mean, these are doing better than. Uh, God, may, maybe call it two inches. But this is what the bullet looks like. Wow. <laughs> it just absorbs it. Even better than a brick wall. These earth blocks just absorb it. And then same same here. What it's showing us is it doesn't even matter the thickness. I guess maybe it's intuitive. It, I think it's the idea that it's packed that, so that tight. That it's packed so tight and it doesn't matter how thick it is, it's still gonna go in the same distance. Of course, no hole yeah. coming out here. So, But now the big boy, now the big one. You want to cut it? Yeah, yeah. All right, the big one, seven millimeter magnum on this skinny earth block wall, seven inch thick. So let's, let's see, I'm gonna do two shots, one into the eight inch, one into the seven inch, and let's see what happens. Three inches, and then here, uh, got a good shot right on the block, and Man, two inches. Yep, nothing, nothing went there. through. Okay. But really, the same result on, from the same distance on all three walls, and so doesn't matter. Take the wall. Doesn't matter. Unstabilized or stabilized. It's, it's basically that compressed dirt, that 2,000 psi packed packed dirt, doing the work. It's like it's like shooting into the ground. I mean, shooting into the ground. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to go a couple inches, and that's that's what we're doing. It's basically like shooting into the ground. So that's why that's why it's so good. Just as we're walking back, we happen to notice on the pavement on the 40 cal bullet, this, it was a hollow point and it, it ricocheted about 30 feet back from the wall. So that's pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that shows it's pretty solid. Yeah, pretty solid wall, I guess, huh?